Now, we've all heard the uh, phrase, give a dog a bone, but what about give a dog a magnet? It doesn't have the same ring, does it? Well, a firm in Beverly is doing just that in a bid to relieve canine arthritis. A local vet is trialling new magnetic collars, which gauge whether pets suffering from similar ailments to us humans can benefit from wearing one. Joe Makel went to find out more. <laughs> Poor Rosie, she's only four, but's been suffering from crippling arthritis for the past two years. She just wouldn't stop walking, she didn't want to play, she, you could see the pain in her face, that she was obviously very in great discomfort and what have you. And she, she was, her great pastime is playing football or chasing rabbits and she didn't want to do any of those, so I knew that it was affecting her quite badly. But it seems help may be at hand, and it's all down to this man's magnetic powers. Richard Gill's company has been making magnetic bands to help people with arthritis for some years. It's believed they help with pain relief, and now they're trying the idea on dogs. Just the same way as you can transfer the magnetic field to a piece of mild steel, you can transfer uh, some form of the, the magnetic field to the red blood cells and it's the charge on the red blood cells that is being changed that allows the, uh, the blood to carry more oxygen and it's the more oxygen in the blood that provides the benefits to the, to the people and the animals. With the help of a Beverly vet, the company's trialling its magnetic collar on 30 local dogs to see more fully what improvement it brings. Rosie's had her collar for some months now and Julie believes it's really helped. It took three weeks because I had to try the setting for each setting for a week. And once I'd got onto the third setting, within, within minutes, I knew that I'd got it right because she, she was just so different, just walked better. And she's still limping, but she's, she walked a lot better and I knew I'd got it right for her. In fact, Rosie's made so much progress that her medication's been halved. And as you can see, her football playing and rabbit chasing days are far from over. Joe Makel, BBC Look North, Beverly. Looking forward to the day that my medication can be halved. You could be, frolic <laughs> you could be frolicking in the snow too with one of those.